Hi guys, so Dad Cooks is trying to cook once more today and today we're gonna cook Maggi Murtabak, something that I've never attempted before but it's a simple and an easy dish uh, predominantly belonging to the Malay cuisine and I'm making an attempt to cook this for my kids today. So what do I have in front of me? I have some onions as you can see here, some coriander leaves, instead of this you can use down soup if you want, um, fiery chili and pre-marinated beef. All right, so you can marinate this with curry powder and a little salt. We need eggs for this dish. Two eggs per serving. Um, a, a serving has two eggs and two, noodle, uh, two packets of noodle inside. Maggi noodles or equivalent. And it's seasoning, some butter for cooking. Here's my pan, my cast iron pan. And here is water that's boiling to boil the noodles. That's about it. So we start. So I'm gonna beat, I'm gonna whisk two eggs. But first I gotta put them into this bowl. Curry powder whichever brand doesn't matter and whisk it the wok is nice and hot so time to add my butter and I'm gonna add the meat into it So here's some butter to fry the the onions and chili. Right. I'm cooking for several people, so it might look a little more than is needed, but it's just right for us. The onions are almost getting done. Time to add the chilies. Now that looks like a lot of chili. So this is. Padas Gila, as they call it. Crazy spicy. So now I add the pre fried beef mince and give it a stir. Yeah, it looks delicious at this time. Fury and delicious, I could call it. And it's time to take it out now. We're going to boil the Maggi noodles for about two minutes or a little less than two minutes. Okay, so you see here the pre-fried onions, mince and chilies to which we add, we add the Maggi noodles and here comes the eggs. Time to add in the Maggi seasoning. Just add as much as you would like. Okay, now give it a good mix with your chopsticks. So add it in the, the butter and just glazing it around the pan. The dish is a little rich, so the spice helps to Feel all that richness in goes the dish. I've just flipped it around nice and good, thick, about an inch thick, and Maggi Murtabak with cheese is ready. Wow, for a first time, it's come out well. There's nice cheese on top, so you just wait for the cheese to melt. It's a little bit of heat applied, and it's going to be a delicious dish that can be shared by two people. All right, I forgot to add coriander for the first serving, but this time around I haven't forgotten it. And here's the coriander. Don't forget to put this. You can also add down soup instead. And the second serving of 
Maggi Murtabak with egg, cheese and beef mince is ready.